Hello Algebra students. Today we're going to create a linear equation from a description. Now, in order to be successful at this, we have to know what the key um, associated words for addition, subtraction, multiplication, division are. Okay? Anytime we see the words such as sum, plus, total, more than, increased by, these clue us in that the operation we're doing is addition. Difference, less than, minus, and decreased by clues us in on subtraction, times product multiplied by of, all right, is multiplication, and then division, keywords that clue us in on division are quotient divided by divided into. Now, when we do this, what I like to do is look for the keywords that tell us where the equal sign goes, such as is equal to or is equal to the same as. Now, when I look at this, the first one, the difference of twice a number k and 8 is 12. This is tells me where the equal sign goes. So I put my equal sign right above it. Now the first thing I have to do is translate the left side of it. The difference of twice a number uh, K okay, and 8. Difference tells us to put in the order that we're given. Twice the number K means we're going to do 2 times K. And the difference between 2K and 8 would be 2K minus 8. And I have my equal sign. And what does it equal? 12. Okay. So it's really finding where the equal sign goes and then um, translate the left and right side of it. Number 2. The sum of 42 and a number n is equal to 51. So here is equal to, tells us to put the equal sign here. And when we translate the left side, the sum of 42 and a number n, well sum tells us addition, 42 and n, alright, means we write it in the order we're given. So 42 plus n is equal to, and what's it equal to? 51. Okay, number three, the difference of a number z and 11 is equal to 35. So we know the equal sign goes here. We know the right side is easy because it's just going to be 35. Remember, anytime we're dealing with difference, right, the order they tell us, you know, we, they give us is the way we subtract them. So a number z and 11, so the difference between z and 11 would be z minus 11 is equal to 35. Number four, product of 12 and the difference of a number, r and 4, is 72. Now we know where the equal sign goes, and that goes right here. So it's going to be equal to 72. But when we look at the left side, the product of 12 and the difference of a number, r and 4. If we need that difference to happen first, that means we take 12. The product means multiplication, so we're going to multiply it by the difference of a number r and 4. So we do r minus 4. You have to put the r minus 4 in parentheses because it's the product of 12 and the difference. So the difference has to be calculated first, which means it has to go in parentheses. Number 5. 3 less than a number y is 5. Now, less than. It, this is the only tough one, I think, because the order does matter because less than tells us subtraction. But you have to think of it, you have to be less than something. So what are we starting with? Are we starting with 3 or y? Well, you're 3 less than y, which means you're starting with y. You're 3 less than it, so we subtract it, and that's going to equal 15. Okay? So anytime you're dealing with less than, you have to be very careful because of the order. All right, number six, you are taking part in a charity walk, and you have walked 12.5 miles so far. Your goal is to walk 20 miles. How many more miles do you need to walk 20 miles? How many more miles do you need to meet walk to meet your goal? Well, it says here, you have walked 12.5 miles so far. Your goal is to walk 20. So we're going to say the number of miles you need to walk, M, plus the number of miles you already walked when you add them together it has to equal 
the total number of miles you walk or want to walk, which is 20. Well, how many more miles do you need to walk to meet your goal? Well, what's the easiest way to figure this out? Well, all I'm going to do is solve the equation by subtracting 12.5, and I would need to walk 7.5 miles more. Okay. Hopefully this helped. Um, please ask your tutor for more examples and try the ones on your own. Thank you.